Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Rise of the Tomb Raider, where Lara uh, critically failed her stealth check last time, get captured, and we learned that Anna, uh, her late father's uh, lover and assumed friend of the family, was uh, or turned out to actually be Constantine's sister, and uh, obviously working with Trinity all along apparently, in order to get behind um, or learn what, what Richard Croft and now Lara Croft uh, know about the source. Anyway, there are a couple of things to pick up here. There's occasional shaking on my controller, which first uh, confused me because I thought I stumbled upon some kind of hidden cache in here. But apparently they're just very, very violently searching their own base for Lara. They specifically announced that they would be searching literally every single room and yet no one seems to be coming. Anyway, let's just pick up these things. Strange here. being in the field again. I was undercover for so long, locked in a life of comfort at Croft Manor. Here there is no comfort at all. The air is frozen. <laughs> Regretting some choices, Anna? Cold. The company aside from Constantine is abysmal. But I asked to be here. I need to be here. I do not have the luxury of time or patience. Constantine and I begin this journey together. I will be there when he fulfills his destiny. Okay. So for now, I'll breathe deep. I'll let the cold air burn my lungs. I'll let it remind me that I'm still alive. I'll let it fuel me for the final push towards our destiny. All right, well. She had a choice. She knew that she had the choice to, you know, stay with the Crofts, I guess. Because I, I do believe that she probably had some, had developed real feelings for Lara's father. Even if she started out as a, as a spy, basically, as a, an enemy agent. But she decided to return for whatever twisted reasons she might have. Her loss because obviously she's going to die for it hopefully sooner than later but we'll see okay that revealed three more icons for us good to know right these coin caches have been added earlier obviously we didn't have a an opportunity to return yet we do have the rope arrows though need to keep that in mind okay i think that's all there is in this small room so maybe we should actually start Making our way out of this base here. Our new friend Jacob said... Why would you close that? I guess in case anyone follows you. I guess it's not a bad idea. Although I find it unlikely that anyone would trudge through the sludge after her. Anyway, our new friend Jacob, presumably that leader of the remnant who we've heard about, Told her a to go. Military patch for Trinity soldiers. Uh -huh. Aside from the design, there's no identifying text. They keep themselves hidden, even from their own foot soldiers. Okay. Um. Yeah. So uh, tethering rope arrows can also attach to rope coils. And then I will be able to do what exactly? I can rope two there, and then. Then what? Oh, I see. And I tie it to the coil. Yeah, and that will allow me to do something here. So anyway, uh, Jacob told her to. Oh, left step. There we go. There. And that is going to stay. Somehow I don't trust this, but that's okay. Anyway, Jacob told her to uh, head to the train station or something, train depot, which is supposed to be in the north part. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. So I guess this is what he meant. It makes sense. All right. Well, since we can't dive there, can't really be much in that water, so we'll just keep going for now. The only path that's available. Holy crap. Oh, thanks for that gun. I'm not sure why I didn't take a new gun. Oh. 
not a shotgun. Uh, would you die already? Oh, there we go. There we go, finally. Yeah, I don't know why we didn't take that same gun from one of the dozens of enemies we've already killed up to this point, but, you know, better late than never. Huh? Oh, there is another one. Over there. Why did these first guys take a billion shots? And now they take, like, three, which is what I expected. Hmm. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but all right. Uh, I guess we're also still looking for more of those laptops to destroy. Okay, some healing material that I don't need. Oh, nice one. Really? Well, that works. Hmm. It seems to be pretty ammo efficient, honestly, even if it takes three or four shots per enemy. Oh, there we go. That's what I saw. Ooh. Right, and I did see this. Actually, reload. I guess we're completely full. Magnesite lying around, already in the open. Huh? Wait, what? Oh, I didn't really need to take this, although uh, I suppose I maybe could have used it. Who knows? I really just wanted to look around, just making sure I'm not missing anything. You know, the usual. Oh. Okay, and he's dropping in from above. I... Presumably that red thing there is explosive. Sure enough. Okay, now we're full on magnesite. For what it's worth. Still full. Still nothing to interact or burn or cut down. No, we can't cut anything down, we don't have a knife yet. Hold RV crafting was Oh. Okay. Shrip no grenades. Or, you know, I could just shoot them. So, in order to craft explosives, we have to pick up empty cans. It's pretty situational, although they are probably going to provide us supply of those things. Too bad we can't, like, take cover around corners. It's really like this is a little bit awkward, but, you know, works well enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, here we'll need some kind of explosive. Uh, can we even hit that guy? Oh, yes we can. And he just fell after one shot. Maybe that guy was special? I don't know. It felt like I should have hit him with a couple of those initial shots, but maybe not. There we go. That's number seven? Yeah. As we push deeper into the valley, I find myself staring at the ruins and pondering my own mortality. These structures have been here for ages, waiting for this moment. I can feel their anticipation. The stone itself wants us to succeed. Mm, maybe you're misunderstanding something there. Non-believers, the fearful, and the lost. Those that hid the source from Trinity for so long. We are the very people who would use what's hidden here as it was intended to be used. This world is too corrupt, too rotten. Too sick to be saved by any means other than Trinity. We will have our army. A righteous man will lead it. Righteous. Constantine will be that man. If Constantine is what you consider righteous, I 
would not like to meet anyone you consider evil. More poison? Yes, actually. Okay, alright, that's more healing that I can need there. Would have been explosives. Yeah, I, 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 realize, I realize that's what the game wants me to do. OP to drop. I don't know. I just find it easier to shoot people than, you know, worrying about blowing them up. I guess maybe it... Huh, maybe being able to, to craft those on the fly will allow me to uh, blow up the, some of the barriers I need to, need to blow up, or... Oh, we'll see. Map updated with survival caches, all right. And mural that I've already found. Crypt treasure. Oh, that was oh, inside the crypt, of course. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I also picked up the document here, right. And once again, I have to wade through some uh, suspicious liquids. I guess this is probably not as bad as some of the things she's been through. Oh wait, we're outside. Jacob? Technically. Is that you, Jacob? Lara, be careful. They're everywhere. Yeah, no You'll kidding. Run into some trouble. There he is. Take him out. Damn it. Oh, there's a convenient camp here. Sure, I guess I'll rest a little bit. I'm the sure he's going to be fine. Weeks, things are becoming clear. I know there's something hidden here. The Soviets came looking for it too, and now Trinity and Anna. Anna. I mean. God. I still don't. Oh, you better believe it. it. But I mean, seriously, it's been this pretty time. clear for some time now that we were in the right place, right? As well. I've got to keep moving. Find Jacob and join his people. If I can prove myself to them, maybe he will tell <laughs> me more about this place. Yeah, not that you really have more of a right to that divine source than Trinity do, but at least you're probably not going to use it for whatever evil purposes they're planning to use it for. Now, not that we know exactly what that is. I mean, I guess we we know that it's supposed to be the source of immortality, right? That it used to make that nameless prophet immortal somehow. Uh, and Constantine does want to use it to save Anna's life, who seems to be sick in some way. But obviously that cannot be the ultimate goal, and Constantine is only one... is only the... I don't know... Um, it's not the leader of Trinity, he's, he's just their, their leader, the leader of this operation here, so who knows what their ultimate goal is. Um, let's see, actually. For this we need... Well, first of all, well, we need eight more skills in the other categories, plus possibly other prerequisites for the individual skills. Body trap specialist. Eh, I don't really see myself doing that. Demolitions expert. All crafted handheld items and increased detonation radius. I mean, I suppose eventually I might do that. It's under your bombs. Me. Double shot. This sounds cool. I might want to do that. Survivalist. You know what? Yes. Let's just maximize resources we get. Um, oh, and Dead Eye. Yeah, I just want to see that. I don't think it really makes much of a difference, as usual, with what exactly I pick. Okay, right, we have the assault rifle now, and we actually also, okay, I suppose I should have expected that, because we started with a bunch of pistols, we also have at least, well, we have exactly one DLC assault rifle, apparently, which reduces just about everything else, but increases damage and recall stability extremely. Golden Fang. Gilded bolt action rifle that strikes with deadly force. Super low reload speed, ammo capacity, and rate of fire. Honestly, since, hmm, I guess I could for like a 
faster firing pistol and have this as my more of a hunting rifle type. I guess that's what this is going to be, right? Not so much uh, an automatic rifle, but a single shot precision weapon. I don't know if that's going to work out so well for me. Yeah, in fact, that's exactly what it is. You know what? No, I think I want to um, keep it as an automatic rifle. But can we not upgrade it, though? Oh, of course we can. If I'm not being stupid about it. Uh, more damage. I mean, that's a pretty likely first pick to increase. Rate of fire, also not bad. Although... Wait, can we do both? No. No, we can't. Because this takes basically all my scrap. But now we get more scrap. And other... Artificial materials, so... That's nice. Alright. And she really needs to grab some kind of jacket from one of these enemies she kills. Oh, she can squeeze through here. In fact, I can no longer back off. I hope there wasn't anything on the other side. Was there? No. Okay. Easy enough. Nice. Yeah, this is so efficient. Taking position. See up there? Apparently. Okay. Didn't even see the guy, but the headshot indicator helped there, at least. That's number eight. Where's the next guy? Oh. I should just still up there. Wow. That is a little bit overpowered, honestly. Just look for the headshot indicator and you're going to guaranteed headshot? Okay, sure. I'll take it. Are they respawning? Not even sure where that came from. Think I'm supposed to pull this? Yeah. And that, actually. And <laughs> somehow that caused the entire structure to blow up. And destroy a laptop in the process. Alright, okay, I'm, I'm just not going to question it. Just, you know. I'm sure it all makes sense. What have we here? More stuff. You know what? Fine. Since you really want me to. Is he behind there? Was he? I guess not. Grenade out? Get blown up. There we go. Okay. Hostile spotted. She's alone. I guess it was probably Make it supposed to kill a certain number of enemies. And of course, now I don't have my explosive ready. I could make a new one easily enough. Those guys look pretty heavily armored, but they actually die just fine. Ah, god, I say as I mess everything up. The thing is, the game is, at least so far, comically simple. Comically easy, I should say. Oh, not dead? Come on. There we go. Some good old strangling. For good measure. Alright, I guess that's all of them. I thought I heard someone loading a weapon. Before Lara did, that is. But maybe not. So, wait, they came out of there, right? Yeah, that must be the path forward that just opened. I mean, it's nice of the game to provide all these healing items, but really, it's been completely unnecessary to heal in combat so far. I guess I could be playing on a, on a higher difficulty. But I'm not playing on easy, am I? I think this is normal difficulty.
That's fine. Okay, there's actually one of the caches. And it's, okay, a high-quality pelt, I guess. Alright, so I haven't missed anything else so far. Still looking for that final laptop to destroy. I hope I didn't miss that. Oh, it could be in here. What happened here? Supposed to talk to that guy? What happened here? Indeed. Huh? Grab? Oh, I can't. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that guy's dead. This guy is not, apparently. Jacob? I think I'm close to the train yard. Are you there? Just to make sure. Always double tap. Although these are not zombies, so maybe it doesn't apply. Hmm. As we push deeper into the valley, I feel reassured that this is the work I was chosen to perform. My stigmata itch with sensation. It is a constant reminder of my higher purpose, of my singular position in this higher purpose. I was a child, innocent to the evils of the world. Then, one night, I woke in such pain, a scream on my lips. Blood dripped from my palms when I saw it. I was terrified. It marked me. It meant something. I cannot shirk this mission any more than I can shirk my own hands. Um. What? Who's saying this? Just one of the Trinity soldiers? Or was this Constantine? No. I can't tell. Maybe I should have been able to... I should be able to tell whether it's his voice or not, but somehow I'm not. That's okay. So, Jacob is not answering. That's definitely a good sign. No problem there. A badge of rank in a military order. Trinity. Um, yeah. I guess. It's the same shape. Said other symbol. So someone, someone else has been slaughtering Trinity here. Normally I should welcome that, but at the same time it's a little bit concerning. So I kind of doubt that this was Jacob's doing. Wait, is there the cache back here? Yes. Thought I saw it flesh for just a second. Okay, another one of those weapon parts. No, just deep snow. It's gonna say we're. Oh, hold on a mural. I missed a mural and a and a survival cache. What kind of mural would I have missed here? Wait, where is that supposed to be? Right on top of me. Um. No. Okay, but the cache, though, has to be somewhere around here. Maybe here? Yes, okay. Good thing I double-checked. You never know when you run into the next, uh, the next situation that just blocks your way back. Okay, somewhere nearby. Somewhere in here, basically. Wait, is it here? It's literally here. I swear I thought I looked at this wall specifically, but I guess I did not. Enemies must answer for their crimes. Hmm, bit grim. Yeah, well. Halfway to level three Russian. That is advancing very slowly. You'd think that Russian, modern day Russian at that, well somewhat modern, would be by far the easiest out of the three languages we we can learn here. To master. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess Jacob is more of a killer than I thought. What took you so long? I thought I lost you back there. Could I have that knife? Thanks for getting me out of that place. 
Let's move. We can get I mean, up I there. Suppose he certainly isn't innocent. Well, I was kind of hoping to maybe look around a little bit back there for more items, but I'm assuming there just weren't any. Well, that's bad. Uh, now what? Maybe return to where you came? That seemed safer than this. Uh, or maybe not. Uh, jump into the ice-cold water covered by thick ice? Sure, that sounds like a plan. Well, thankfully, thankfully there was an opening, so at least she didn't break her legs immediately. Sunken ships? No, I guess these are just... I don't know. No, not ships, actually. I don't know, it looks like... It, it looked like... Um, I don't know, what do you call that? The masts and various ropes and whatnot. On, uh, you know, sailing ships. And, yeah. I can only assume that was scripted. Okay, she actually made it somehow. Normally she would have long dried, uh, long, long dried, drowned, died. Quite the opposite of dried. After that time. But it's okay, it's a cutscene. Unfortunately, though, Jacob didn't make it, most likely. Rip. Really? They immediately spotted her? I guess she couldn't have made it super far from that base. Yep. Okay, I guess we'll just do some... Some climbing, you know, while being chased by a freaking helicopter. No big deal. I don't even know where we are right now. And for a second there, at first I thought, oh hey, that's, that's a thing to jump to. Then it looked like, then I, 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 for a second I was sure it was actually just a trick of the light or something. And not an object, but just a beam of light or something. But then it turned out to actually be an object to jump to, and there's another one. You know what? I'll just trust the game design. Oh. Thankfully, typically these sequences tend to be pretty straightforward because there's really not a lot of time to assess the situation and, you know, think before you jump and that kind of thing. Dad? Did you really find him dead? What? No way. He didn't shoot himself, did he? What? That's just a nightmare, right? I don't know, somehow her father... Take it easy. Oh, check it. Okay. Drink this. It'll help. Somehow I didn't think her father would be the type to kill himself. You could have left me in that river. Would you have left me? I'd have thought Probably, about yeah. It. <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? Well, I mean, she is here, so... What makes you risk so much to come here? A divine source. I know what you're looking for. But not why. But I want to know why. When I was young, it was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist, too. In his last years, he was... obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him, including me. Our last conversation was a fight. He... He took his own life. He really did, huh? Because people didn't believe him and... I thought I'd come to terms crazy. with it, but... Hmm. Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. 
it changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken. But he died for something. So you believe the Divine Source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. Or maybe it is hidden away for a good reason. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. Then I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't. Or won't. I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now... You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now, my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. But there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. Sure, sure. I'll be back soon. I'm sure she'll rest for maybe up to ten minutes. That should be plenty. A new adventure awaits, apparently. Oh, okay, this is where the other major DLC uh, unlocks. Okay, Hunter Pack received. Thanks. Thank you for purchasing Baba Yaga, the Temple of the Witch for Rise of the Tomb Raider. Objectives are indicated with pink markers on your map. A new mission is waiting for you in the Soviet installation. The myst Mysteries of the Wicked Vale Beckham. Okay. Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Well, I'm glad she has her jacket back. It looks much more comfortable in this climate. Oh, actually, is this his? Oh, of course. I didn't recognize it at first, or rather, I didn't even think about whether that could be a place I, I knew. Wait. Oh, this is just the uh, cutscene chase sequence. What's this wide open area? Hmm. Not sure. Yeah, but obviously this is where the uh, escape sequence took place. Okay, and that's our first Baba Yaga mission. Disturbance in the sawmill. Reach the sawmill. Hmm. Okay. I, mean, I appreciate that it's just integrated into the main game and not something I have to, uh, you know, pick it from the, from the main menu. Let's see how exactly that works out. Contact with the native in the old sawmill. Okay. We wounded her, but it looks like they set traps around the perimeter. I've got one casualty so far. Doing a sweep. Hmm. Not seeing anyone from here. It's probably, probably, possibly, because of draw distance. Oh. Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but. Almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. Hmm. He saved my life. I think I can trust him. I mean... At least, for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's left. Seriously? Come on, Lara. You can't be that stupid. Obviously, these remnant know exactly, know everything about the source. I mean, it's been 
I didn't come to that conclusion myself, right? The game gave me copious little hints. And at some point it was basically spelled out that they are literally the descendants of the prophet's people. So they, their tribe or whatever, their people have been guarding the secret of the source from the outside world for centuries. Right? Somehow she doesn't realize that. I, I don't know. I thought it was just assumed that both the player and Laura were supposed to know that at this point. But I guess not. I suppose she's still trying to figure that out. Um, yeah, I mean, so much for him not judging and uh, being a friend. I mean, I guess he seems like a good person, but when it comes to letting Lara take the source and take the source out into the world, I'm pretty sure he's going to try to stop her. So we'll see how that goes. Deadly Force. Stealth finishers are much faster and kill enemies with brutal force. Okay, rather than just... Um, making them uh, stagger and leaving you to fi finish them off normally. I think I'm going to take that. Stealth landing. Dodge kill. I guess I'm going to pick this one for now. That was the double shot that I was interested in, but, you know. Inventory. Upgrades available. Yes, please. Oh, okay. A bigger quiver. More pistol ammo. Hmm. Okay, most of these things, well, not most of them, but the next inventory upgrade does require... Oh, actually, I, s I thought I needed the crafting tool for more things. Do I not? Wait, I don't somehow magically have the crafting tool, right? Am I crazy? I'm pretty sure... All these things said that they needed the crafting tool before. And that was extremely expensive from the Trinity uh, merchant. Hmm. Okay. Apparently I only need a little bit more leather and I can uh, craft the rucksack. So I guess I'll save for that. I'm not really sure what that's all about. We can increase the rate of fire for this thing. In fact, we can get that and the uh, extra stability, too. Reload speed. It's not as big of a concern. I guess I'll get both of these, because this weapon seems really good. Maybe it was this oh, I was thinking? Okay. So this takes the crafting tool. Actually, the second level... Yeah, okay, it's the second level weapon upgrades. Never mind that. Maybe the... Presumably the the uh, inventory upgrades never required them to begin with. That would make more sense. I I don't know, should I head down to the sawmill and see what that's all about? You know what, I'm curious, I want to see. The episode is not super long yet. And if it's just about killing a bunch of Trinity and... Oh. I guess someone was here before me. I'm with Jacob. Are you? Oh, he told us to yes. Wait for you. But these bastards found us first. Are you main story or Baba Yaga? God, are you all right? I'll live, but I need a safe place to rest in case the invaders return. There's a cave across the bridge over there. A wolf den. They won't look there, but I can't clear it out on my own. Not no. like this. I see. If you could kill them, we'll have a safe place to regroup. Sure. You might even have something for that pistol of yours. Oh, in that Can case, you help us. Absolutely. Oh. Yes, of course. Stay out of sight. I'll be back. Thank you. Sure. Are there more missions? Maybe I should take another look. Mission available? Yeah, actually there are. Well, there is one more. I'm not going to do that now, even though it's you know technically it's something I should. Jacob was right about you. Lara should take care of quickly. But there's apparently also something to do here. Away. We need to know why they were following Bravo team. Okay, there's Bravo hasn't run into any more resistance. Enemy up there. The way, but find See me from down here? Got freaking Wow. Defeat the soldiers. Shouldn't be able to do that. Judging by 
how easy that was just now. I guess I could use my new newly silenced pistol to do the same thing. That's it? Defeat all three of them? If there's someone or was it four? You can come out now. Come out from where? Must still be hiding. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Well, I'll just go ahead and move the bodies then first. Yeah, one fell down. Blood. That hurt. Am I supposed to be hiding in here somewhere? Maybe there's a trail. Oh, the trails? Wait. The trail. They're in here, huh? Pretty sure this is new. No closer. I'm not with Trinity. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. Oh, that's good. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? Yes. I'm Nadia. I could use your help. I mean, I already helped you. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga uh -huh. lives. Okay. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. <sighs> Thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Okay, the cave to the east. Oh, that one. Wait. Through that cave? There's a challenge tomb inside. Was there another... Another way in there? I don't think there was anything visible, but... Hmm. I guess I, I'm, I should be able to open that challenge tomb entrance now. Maybe there is another way leading away from there. Guess we'll see. Huh. Okay, so this is just the basically the, the starter quest for that DLC, which is going to take place in its own area. Jacob's people were forced to work here. Mm, yes. Anything else to remark? No? Okay. Okay, um, where can I... I suppose I can just save anywhere. Wait. Oh, that's the camp inside the cistern cavern. That's not going to be very practical. Um... I guess I'll just end the episode here. I can always save, and the game's probably going to put me somewhere else when I reload, but that's fine. Um, we're going to deal with this wolf cave. Wait. Can we only have one mission active? Hold on a second. Okay, I have to know this now. Did I fail that mission because I didn't immediately head into the wolf cave? Or why is it no longer highlighted? Do I... Can I... Choose missions? Dangerous territory. Clear out the animal den. Okay, now it's being highlighted again. No, I guess we're gonna be fine. I mean, I, I wouldn't... I didn't expect this game to, you know, time gate that kind of mission. Even when it would make sense for some things to be, you know... Um, to have a limited timer associated with it. Um, and apparently that's not the case. That is reassuring. Um, yeah, anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to clear out the den next time, uh, check out this other mission that there is apparently, and look around for... Well, we, we can we can shoot rope arrows now, which opens up a couple of paths, actually. I probably won't remember everything. There is a challenge tomb that's now available. There were another door or two that, that required the, the rope arrows to open. There's a... A shortcut we can make that should allow us to uh, get back to the shop pretty easily. There are, all, are all, all kinds of things. And of course there's also the main story to follow, I suppose. It's a copper mill. Right, right. Where even is that? Okay, that's... Oh, that's through here. That makes sense. Right, yeah, of course. This area is also blocked off by rope arrows, naturally. So we have this entire mining area to explore with tons of items to pick up. So, once again, a billion options available to us. 
But I guess I'm gonna, yeah, well, I've roughly outlined what I'm planning to do, so we'll do that next time. Uh, as always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.